So let's play a bit more X-Men at Marvel United, shall we? And we're going for that Saturday morning cartoon feel because we have Mr. Sinister as the bad guy going against Wolverine, Gambit, Rogue and Jubilee. So Mr. Sinister has a special setup which is distribute 12 DNA tokens equally amongst the heroes and so I'll just give them three each. He has 11 health. His special rules is heroes without DNA sample tokens treat all special effects on their cards as blank. So you need to keep those uh, sample tokens on hand. Overflow, if one or more tokens can't be added to a location, take one DNA sample from the hero there. So I wonder if that means if there's no heroes in the location that you basically don't take none. Probably just normal overflow happens. On a bam, he moves each he hero one location closer to Mr. Sinister, then takes one DNA sample from one hero in his location. So again, if he's not in the location, then he doesn't take a sample. And to win the game, he needs to collect nine DNA sample tokens. So that's him. So Mr. Sinister is up first. He's going to move three, which will put him in a hero's location. And then he's going to drop off a few civilians so he just goes to there like that and then that location fills uh, that one fills and that one is close to filling so Wolverine is up first and he's going to go for the healing factor so he just places one heroic token in the location there and then this stays in play and as long as this card is face up then whenever he's got three cards in hand at the end of the villain turn he can draw one card. So that's good for Wolverine, it means he can always have a card draw basically. Gambit's up next and Gambit is going to go for a move and a heroic with Wolverine's heroic. So basically he is moving to the Excalibur Lighthouse. And placing both heroic tokens there because we could do with getting rid of that telepathy threat. So Rogue is up next and she is going to play a move and punch along with Gambit's card. So first thing she's going to do is she's going to punch the thug in her location. Then she's going to move. Clear that threat with the heroic. And then lastly move again down to there. So Mr. Sinister is up. He's going to move clockwise to the next location with a hero with DNA sample tokens. So that is Rogue. And then Genius Geneticist is going to take one DNA sample from each hero in Mr. Sinister's location. So... Rogue loses a DNA. And we'll place them in the middle there to show how many he's collected. So he's got one. He needs eight more. So it's Jubilee's turn and she's going to play a move and heroic along with Rogue's move and punch. So I've used the heroic just there. Then she's going to move one. Clear that thug out after the move in, and lastly I'm going to move to where Rogue is. So it's Wolverine's turn, he is going to play the Adamantium Claws, so firstly he's going to clear that threat right there. Then he's going to move and move. And using the Adamantium Claws, Adamantium Claws rather, he is just going to defeat those two thugs right there. So Gambit's up and the cards in hand aren't exactly the greatest for what we have right now. So I'm just going to play this move in a heroic. So all Gambit's going to do is he's going to move. And then place a heroic there. 
he isn't going to move again. So Mr. Sinister gives off his first bam. He moves four. So that places him here. And when he bams, every hero moves one location closer. If there's any heroes in his location, then they take DNA. So he hasn't got those samples. So that's good for us. But we are in the manipulation zone. So yeah, next turn, every hero here has to play a card at random, which isn't good for us. And lastly, he just places some thugs. So that location's full. I think. No, it's not. That one is, though. That one is. That one nearly is. But it does mean we've got some thugs on the board. So, playing a card at random, we have Rogue's Power Absorption. So, along with Gambit's card right there. So, this says, use the action symbols at the bottom of another hero's face-up card in the storyline. At the end of your turn, turn that card face down. Okay. So, we basically get three effects here, don't we? Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a thug. And then I'm going to move. Or am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to, I'm going to play the heroic here for now. Because that's not a nice card. Then I'm going to move to there. Then I'm going to go for a bit of boyfriend action here and use uh, Gambit's um, actions here at the bottom. Does it say one? Use the action symbols at the bottom of another hero's face-up card in the storyline. So yeah, I think it just means you can use both. So I'm going to use the heroic here and then I think I'm going to move one. Because could do is splitting up a bit, I feel. So for Jubilee at random, we've drawn her double wild, which I was trying to hold on to, I will be honest. Um, so what we're going to do, first things first, I think we are going to move with one of the wilds to that location. Then I think we are going to double punch. So that leaves us with basically two thugs left to deal with. And then we also have to clear two threats. So Wolverine gets a move <laughs> drawn at random. So I think, yeah, I think um need to do something, don't we? We've got those two wilds. Well, I think if we use one here for the heroic. And then we move. And then clear that threat with the other heroic action. I think that should do us. And end of turn, you may discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to gain one punch or one move token. That's not really that good. Mr. Sinister does a one and a bam. So he's going to move there. Jubilee gets pulled in. Wolverine gets pulled in. Um... Rogue gets pulled in to there. He then places the civilians. So this location is now full. That one's back up. That one's back up. And on the BAM, he removes someone's DNA. So we'll let Wolverine take it. So he's got two lots of DNA right there. So Gambit's up and he's got to go at random. And he's got a random punch token there. So I am just going to punch that thug and then he's going to move to here. So I finally cleared the threat card off from the top. I completely forgot about it. It will be honest there. Cleared it ages ago, didn't we? But Rogue, she is going to play the double wild to help out Jubilee. And what she's going to do is she's just going to move. Rescue a civilian and punch the thug. And that does mean that the thugs are dealt with. So Mr. Sinister's going to get his go. So Mr. Sinister goes for a five and a bam. So he moves to here. Then he moves these 
one closer just like that and then what he does is he goes for overflow because of these here well first he takes one sample from someone so he takes one from gambit he then takes one from wolverine for the bam and i don't know whether the overflow happens when it happens whether it happens there and then they come in but anyway um because of the other overflow in this location which i think would happen yeah it's weird because of the the pulling in mechanic either way i've removed one from jubilee as well that's uh, <laughs> that's the basics of it so mr sinister has four dna samples so Jubilee, who's up, is going to go for a big effect right here. She's going to play her move and her heroic. So using the two wilds, she's just going to clear this threat right here. Uh, end of turn effect, draw one card if possible. Then you must discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. But she's not going to have that because she's going to move to there. But he can take damage now because we've cleared all the threats. So Wolverine is up and he's going to play his Adamantium Claws, which basically hits Mr. Sinister three times. So bam, bam, bam. And then he's going to move and he's going to play the Heroic. So go to there, clear this threat. And the end of turn effect says if you performed three or more Heroic or Punch here this turn, you may gain a wild token did not you must discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck nasty so mr sinister is gonna move two and then bam so he's gonna move two to here then these all move right i'm wondering what happened last time I'm... i don't think i would have had the overflow before don't think i would have but i've done it now so that's it so now overflow happens, right? So we'd have overflow. No, we don't have overflow here. That's filled up. We have overflow here. So Gambit loses his last token, DNA sample. So Mr. Sinister's got five. Gambit's got zero. And so Gambit cannot play any of his special effects now. So that one's done. Yeah, I think that's how uh, how to do it. I'm getting over COVID, leave me be. <laughs> so Gambit, who has no DNA left, I'm um, just going to play his two wilds. So he's going to move and then punch Mr. Sinister twice. And then for Rogue, I'm going to use the ability absorption, which is use a special effect of another hero's face-up card in the storyline at the end of your turn. Turn that card face down. So she's first going to move. We will rescue a civilian with her heroic. Then she's going to use to the other wild to punch. And then if I'm thinking this right, I can use the Amadiantium Claws, which is this one right here. And I can punch him basically three times. Which leaves Mr. Sinister on three health. So Mr. Sinister, he is going to move clockwise to the next location with a hero with DNA sample. So he just goes wee around the board to all four of our heroes. And then he takes one DNA sample from each hero in Mr. Sinister's location. Okay, so one, two, three. And then he's got what, five? Um, so yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight. He needs one more. <laughs> one more. Wow, this has got close. So it's all down to Wolverine and Jubilee. And I've got it covered with Wolverine, I have. Um, anyway, she's going to use the heroic and the punch. So she's going to punch Mr. Sinister. Rescue a civilian. So Mr. Sinister's got two health left. And then on Wolverine's turn, he's just going to come in with the Adamantium Claws and, yeah, wreck face and knock Mr. Sinister out. There we go. 
Well, that was close. I think I messed up here a little bit, so we probably should be one DNA sample less, but I don't care. I've had fun. This was great. It was great seeing the, that card then come out at the end for Mr. Sinister and just basically nearly wipe us out. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Very nice, fun game to play, that one was. I, I really enjoyed that. It was interesting because Mr. Sinister didn't really do any damage to us. I think that's like one of the first villains I've played where they don't do damage to you. So it's literally all about manipulation and uh, he's got a lot of bams. just want to have a look at the deck here. So there's a bam, there's a bam, there's a bam, there's a bam, there's a bam. Yeah, that was what was left, obviously. That was next. So it would have been a zero. All heroes with two or more cards in hand must discard their hand. They aren't KO'd and draw back one less card. Very interesting. So he's all about manipulation, isn't he? Rather than straight damage. And yeah, that would have been really interesting to him ban bamming there. Yeah, great fun game as always. Absolutely love it. Thanks for watching.